Hey there YouTube and welcome back to my channel, so into Josh19. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, 1970 Plymouth Barracuda from Nash Bridges. And now, there's actually two cars you can use to build this. I'm going to be showing you both in this video, because the one's not convertible and the other one is. So the first car you're going to want to pick out is the Stallion. It's a D-Class Stallion. It's a muscle car. Two-door. It comes in the topless version or the roof version. Me, yeah, I'm driving the topless version because the car is a convertible in the film. And so that's the one we're going to be using for this build. So now that we have the car, we're going to head over to Los Angeles Customs. I'm not sure who Tony the Tires is. I literally don't know who that is. Just give me a second. Yeah, he's literally not on the process. I have no idea who that is. So, so this car, I'm surprised they didn't take it out because I've never seen anybody else drive it. Uh, but this car can be found on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos .com. Go to two door. And it's all the way down at the very bottom of the list. Like, all the way down. Currently, for me, it's free. I'm not sure if it's free for everybody else. But anyway. Of course, Los Santos Customs is closed. So, instead, we're just going to travel to my office building. And actually, that's going to be easier than having to call a mechanic and bring me my other car. I'm going to use for this build as well. Considering, I guess, call personal assistant. Okay, here we go. <sighs> now, since Los Angeles customs are closed currently, we are going to be using my all uh, my um workshop and my CEO office. Anything I can do? So. I'm not gonna bother with the. Yeah, screw it. I'll put your armor, your brakes, your engine. I'm gonna put my custom headlights in it. So, this is what it looks like with the soft top, no top, and then the hard top. We're gonna keep the suspension the way it is. We're going to keep the color the way it is. We're going to keep it yellow. Um, upgrade your transmission. Put a turbo. And next up are the wheels. So the wheels, you want to go to muscle. Stock. And we're going to be using these wheels, the El Jefe. Make sure you add your bulletproof tires. And you're all set. Like I said, this car doesn't, the Stallion doesn't really have that much customizable options. 
to change the overall look of the body. But that's how you make the Nash Bridges car with the stallion. And now I'm going to show you how to make it with the, I think it's called the Gauntlet Classic. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. So this car again can be found in the Southern Synergy Super Autos. You just go up to two door. There it is. It's called the Bravo Gauntlet Classic. Currently, if you have the trade price, it's four hundred and sixty-one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Without it, it's six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. So now I just have to go and call it in, and I can show you how to make it using that card. Let me just get my CEO. You, get Mom. my CEO to call him. Oh, yeah. My assistant to call him. Quite a collection you've got Cook's here. Garage. Gauntlet Classic. They're bringing your personal vehicle around right now. <sighs> yeah. Getting tired. Now, you might recognize this car from when I made it look like, uh, NCIS Special Agent Leroy Jethro gives his challenger from the, uh, TV series NCIS. We first introduce that car when he gets it by his grandpa, his father who kept it, even after Gibbs left home all these years and pushed it up for him. I'm choosing this car because even though it's not convertible, there's a scene where in Nash Bridges he does have a soft top up. And I, I, you've already seen the stallion, so now we're going to make it with this car. Mm, more movie cars. The pink Dodge Viper from one of my oldest videos that I, I don't even remember buying that car. My weaponized Tampa. <sighs> and Letty's Corvette. Oh, I still have Letty's Corvette in here. Not bad. Okay, there we go. What can we do to it? What can I help you with? Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure everything's upgraded, the armor, the brakes. The bumpers, you want to go with a painted bumper. This helps get rid of the chrome. Your cosmetics are on point. Um, so the rear bumper, you want to put this one on it. The bolted stock with overriders for 7400 bucks. Chassis, I'm gonna keep my roll cage in it. Upgrade your engine, your exhaust. Just gonna st leave it like that. The front fenders, you do have want to add the gauntlet vents, the grill. The grill you want to put on. This one of these two, the primary se uh, section grill or the secondary. Don't she look pretty? After that, it's the hood. You're gonna want to leave the stock hood up. Add in your custom headlights. We're gonna get rid of the library. Up, put on your plate if you have it. Obviously, mine's on it. Rear fenders. You don't need to add any. 
I need to see the refunders. So that's always a nice Whatever thing. We're gonna keep Technology the color. Document. We're actually gonna paint it back to yellow. Um, okay, for the roof. So because he he does have one clip in the scene where he's got a white roof over, we're gonna put a vinyl roof on it. The only issue is it's gonna be black and not white. That should work. Keep, I'm gonna keep the skirts. God, I'm getting tired. The spoiler. So the spoiler you want to take off completely. Suspension kind of keep. Upgrade your transmission. Your turbo. The wheels are already on there. Good. And just upgrade the windows. And that's it. Now, like I said, there's two cars to do this. Either the Stallion or the Gauntlet uh, Classic. I chose them both. So, I'm pretty happy with the way these cars turned out. I have one convertible because it is convertible. I have one with the roof up because there's one scene where the roof is up. So, <clears throat> but I like the way it turned out. So, in the meantime, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to leave a comment below about what you think. And if you have any more suggestions on what movie cars you want to see, leave it in the comments below and I'll see about making them. I hope you all are having a good work week, and I hope you all are going to have a good 4th of July. I'll talk to you next time. Later.